Hi, today I'm going to show you how to set up your lesson plans in planbook.com. These are my lesson plans that I have for the five classes I teach, and you can see that I have different categories for my objectives, the lesson, homework, notes, standards, and whatever you'd like to include, basically. Go to planbook.com and set up your account using your school's email address. Create a password and type it twice to confirm. Enter your appropriate account information. Now enter your school year, the first day of school, and the last day of school. Now choose the basic lesson layout. This will serve as a template to get you started. You can always change it later on. Enter a class name for each class you teach and assign a color to each class. Now you're ready to add events. This option allows you to block out dates on non-school days. You'll want to delete Martin Luther King Day and President's Day since we do attend school on those days. You now have the option of viewing these overviews on each section of the interface. Now enter your class schedule by going to the Go To button and clicking on Classes. Here you can adjust the start and end dates if you need to. Simply click on each class and enter the start and end time for each class. This will allow it to sort correctly in your lesson plan printout. Click on the Copy button to copy Monday's start and end time to the rest of the week. Set up times for your remaining classes. Now you're ready to set up your display settings, which basically relates to your formatting. You're also able to add categories to your lesson plan, such as objectives and assessments, and you can change the order in which they appear in your lesson plans. Here I can change the font and size and color of my text. Now we're ready to create our lesson plans. Each of the categories we created earlier now is displayed as a tab at the top of our lessons. So I type in my objective, and now my lessons. I usually use bulleted lists for my lessons. Type in homework if you have it, special notes for yourself, and now your standards. Most of Nebraska's standards are included in this program. You just need to go to the Nebraska section. Type in your grade level and subject. There are standards for the skilled and technical sciences, agriculture, business, fine arts, PE, and the core classes. Now choose as many standards as you'd like. I'll add a pop quiz as an assessment. And there are my lesson plans for my first class. You can add links to your lesson plans um, that students can access. Simply type in the text that you want to show and then click on the link icon in your toolbar above. Simply type in the URL and then for your target choose whether or not you want it to open in a new window. And here's the link. Let's assume that the lesson took longer than you anticipated and you need to extend it to the next day. You simply click on the action button and choose extend and the number of days you want to extend it. Or maybe the opposite happened and a lesson went faster than you thought and you need to delete one day of the lesson. You can go to your action menu and click on delete and choose whether or not you want to shift lessons. 
Another scenario you might have is if there's an unanticipated uh, assembly or class meeting and you need to bump your lesson to the next day. Simply go to your action menu and choose the bump option and choose the number of days that you want to bump your lesson. It's now shifted all of your future lessons forward. You can copy a set of lesson plans from a previous class to a current class by going to the Go To button and choosing Classes. Choose the Copy Import Lessons button. Choose My Classes and then select a year and then choose the particular class you want to copy from. Then choose the lesson you want to copy your lessons to. The last thing I'll show you is how to embed your lesson plans in an existing web page. You can specify which categories of your lesson plan you want displayed in your web page and the students can scroll back and forth between the various weeks. Select the Go To button and then click on the Sharing Options. Under the Student Key, just enter any uh, password you'd like and then select the categories that you would like your students to view online. Obviously you probably don't want them to see your personal notes. Then you have the option of choosing how many weeks in advance they can view. They can always view prior lessons. Save those options and then when you go back into sharing you'll see a link that you can download uh, and you'll get a link for each class and you can paste these links into your web page. So this is what it looks like when you're done. Uh, obviously we're on Christmas break here and I'm scrolling back through prior lessons. Thanks for watching.